What's going on, y'all? Got a pair of uh, AIs and just need a deep clean all the way around. Nothing special. Just you know, scrub them down, you know, get them cleaned up for the customer, and then uh, get them shipped out. I'll keep a lock for that. Only problem I notice about the shoes is it's uh, coming apart. I'll get to see some of the materials coming apart. I'm gonna try not to get uh, too much of that broken up off of there, but still get it clean as best as possible. It's happening on both of them. So I'm also probably gonna put like the waterproofer on it too, so it wouldn't, so it won't get this. Uh, Jean stain because that's where it comes from. Uh, long jeans going over the shoe, it rubs off. But yeah, all right, let me get to cleaning them. All right, y'all, what's good, y'all? You know what it is. Got the shoes, gonna deep clean them. Out rock and replenish material cleaner. Gonna be putting it in a bowl. Add some water. You know, gotta add solution first, but that's how I do it. So it mixes up real good. So. Ah. Always do cold water. Okay. Alright, John, the next step with these is going to be uh, saucing them when they actually get dry. Um, it's going to help with the yellowing in the front. Um, with the questions. I'm going to um, wait till they're dry and then let me see if I can get this off with some other treatment that I have and then um, lace them up and get them ready for the customer. So uh, y'all keep it locked for everything. Thank y'all for waiting and still being patient. The things I'm going to do on these uh, Reeboks is a little crease work then I'm gonna go over the shoe with some black because there's a little scuff marks in the front as you can see on that one so I'm gonna go over and touch it up with some black and then lace them up and get them to the customer all right um used some acetone to get the um top layer of gloss and some paint off so I can repaint the upper or toe box on that one I'm gonna get the gloss off of this one I just want to show y'all the difference between the two. Right, I'm gonna knock the same thing off of this because you don't want to do one shoe and not the other. This one would be a lot more shiny than that one because you know this one's an OG shoe and it's been worn. So, all right, I'm doing both. Oh yeah, another thing you can do is get some tweezers or something like that and cut off these little ends when you have customer shoes and um, see a little twine or stray hairs or something like that just cut them off for them makes it a lot cleaner and when you're done you'll see what I'm talking about something small like that alright y'all um, strip the shoes I uh, got most of the creases out I used the iron and uh, method and I used Angelus professional shoe stretch I'm gonna start showing y'all what, what products I use and stuff like that but um the actual step by steps I'm gonna start, you know, after I get a get some room and get some time. Been real busy with uh, I do truck driving, so that's what my daytime job is now. The reason why I don't put out that many videos and the fact that COVID 19 is going on, but um, I will be dropping a lot of more gems now, um, some tutorials here and there. Uh, I will get to the bubble. How to clear up your bubbles. Um, probably the first one I do tutorial wise. But y'all keep a lock for everything. Thank y'all for uh, sticking around with me. Alright y'all peace. Alright y'all all done painting the shoes. Um, you can't tell. But the customer will definitely tell. Because the scuff is all the way gone. On that shoe. Like I said I stripped and repainted this shoe also. So it will look exactly the same. So uh, next step is to put the finisher on and then uh, let that dry, lace them up, and we'll be done. That's good, y'all. Um, all done with the 
Reebok Allen uh, Allen Iverson questions. Keep clean all the way around. That's all the customer needed. There's still a little dinge in the white mesh. You don't want to scrub the white mesh too hard. It'll fringe up or whatever. But the customer, I explained it to the customer what's going on. And he said, that's cool. You know, a little age. They are originals. So, and he had a little problem up here that I see that I tried to, um, get fixed but it's nothing you can really do it happens to age shoes so i just put some waterproof on there just to uh, stop it from fraying and all that stuff even more all right y'all y'all need any work done message me i'll get to y'all as soon as possible peace